the way that that comes out every time makes me giggle. Yeah, this is another 10 minute get ready with me. If you thought you could get rid of me, you better think again. <laughs> By the way, that was the Fenty eye cream. I've been loving this stuff before we begin. Crack open a cold one with the lads. Mm -hmm. So here's the plan, right? Is it about to be one of those days where I don't entirely know what I want to do today? Sure. What I do know is I want to do something kind of creative. I've got 10 minutes. Time to kill. <laughs> However, I did see a picture on Pinterest, which by the way, I get a lot of questions on where I get a lot of my makeup inspo from. To be honest, guys, it's like online on other social platforms or I'll literally look at a palette and kind of get inspo from that, you know? Let me show you the pic. I think I might do this. Do you hear this song? Sorry. <laughs> look how stun that eye look is. Yeah, I just feel like I need that on my eyes today. Yeah, I need to clean my laptop, okay? <laughs> this is the Beauty Bay Midnight Palette. They have this in like loads of different sizes. Pretty sure this is the medium one. I need a baby brush. This one, the Peaches and Cream PC38. The dark blue and the black. I need a smaller brush. Yeah, that is so much better. I'm gonna start by mapping out the shape. Wings up as well. Join that up. If it looks like this, I always prefer working kind of dark to light. I feel like I get a lot more control that way because I'm able to see the shape here. So then after this, all I need to focus on is kind of gradient those colors up. Saying that, I'm not happy with this inner corner. It was that big brush in the beginning. She just like took over my life. <laughs> That's the thing. It's crazy how much of a difference your tools make. Like look at that size difference. This blue. How was everyone's bank holes anyway? What did we get up to? Who went out and lived their best life? Who stayed in? I stayed in. <laughs> Swear to God, I'm getting old, guys. Honestly, I literally stayed in and worked because that's what I do. When I say this, people think I'm joking, right? But I genuinely think I'm like a 60-year-old in a 25-year-old's body. Do you know what it is? I think I've got so used to being at home. It's almost my comfort. It's like my safe space. I don't know. Drake tells me all the time I need to get out more, but I say I do. Primark. I'm just using the lighter shade in the palette now to really buff all of that out. What I will say is don't sleep on these Beauty Bay eyeshadow palettes, guys. Look at the shimmer shades as well. And the cool thing is they got loads of different color stories. Oh my God, I love this song. I'm gonna do my little translucent powder trick. If you ever take the eyeshadow too high, buff some translucent powder and it kind of dilutes the color down and just softens it. This is the P. Louise white base. I was gonna do blue, but I think white is like a more blank canvas. And then we can put on some really cool like neon pigments. Guys, also, do you love my new canvases in the background? Bloody hell, I need some WD-40 on that. I made them. For real, I did DIY them. I've got a bunch of these really cool neon pigments from Take Two Cosmetics. I think I'm going to start with this dark blue shade. This is extraterrestrial. Straight in. Oh my god. Come on. Dark pigment is some kind of sick joke. <laughs> I'm going to mix the blue. Maybe the yellow. This is Blow Your Mind. Almost like a, like a teal. Rule the science, science. Who bloody knows? Stay tuned to find out. I feel like I'm about to put this under the bumps and burner. I'm not really feeling that outer corner. I want it more like neon. You know what? I'm going to head more down this like greeny neon route. Right in the inner corner, I'm going to take this darker blue. Just so we get that nice gradient. Do you know what? I actually find it easier when you use like the same brush to kind of transition the colours through. If I just wipe off the excess between, it's obviously still got a tiny bit still left on the brush. I don't know. I feel like the blend gets better. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I think I need a wipe. What happened there? You should see my desk when I do these kind of looks. I've never tried this body shop liner. It's the Wake Up Cool Liquid Liner. Just going to run this across that lash line. This is just going to give my lash something to sit on. Time to repeat this. Here. And in moments like this, this is where I wish I had one eye. Like that Mike Kid from Monsters Inc. What a legend. I need some motivational music. And this. I told Jake that this is the song I'm going to sing him if he ever breaks up with me. So. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I could do with a glass of wine right now. It's quarter to 11 in the morning. What? It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> You've already seen me do this once. Let me finish this quick. <laughs> I've got these little half lashes here from Technic. Technic? Technique? Actually, they're three quarter length lashes. These are in the style number 12. They're essentially like no trim lashes. This glue that comes with lashes scares me. <laughs> oh my God, look at those. They're like 3D. Here's the thing. I know I could go more like Dramalicious with the lash, but I also don't want to cover up what we've done. So let's hope that these are the ones. They're cute, right? They're super, super wispy. I like that. I'm going to go wash my hands and wet my sponges. <laughs> to start the skin off almost a prime, I'm going to take these radial illuminating soft focus glow drops. These are really, really nice. It's like, I don't know, like a, like a serum -y glow. Hello. My pipette's like fucking annoying. Thank you. <laughs> they smell good too. It's almost like rosy but fruity look at the glow though and they almost go like a little bit tacky so are perfect underneath makeup favorite pore filling primer at the moment the beauty crop pore filter one do you know how gassed i was when i found out they were bringing out a like pore kind of mattifying collection it's my favorite saying that i think today i want more of like a glow more of a glowy complexion so i'm going to take my charlotte tilbury beautiful skin this is shade six 
gonna start working that into the skin first with a brush this is a peaches and cream pc 16. haven't used this foundation in ages but you know what it is beautiful I'd say it's like a medium coverage i like the fact that it still covers but it's nice and glowy still looks very skin like do you know what i'm actually really proud of my skin this time around because it hasn't gone too crazy with breakouts i'm on my period okay shut up <laughs> normally before my period hits my skin just freaks out that's actually like a big red flag telling me periods on the way but this time it's actually not too bad so thanks skin <laughs> oh my god my lights have fallen they're definitely gonna fall again <laughs> fine beauty concealers i'm gonna start with the shade four nice bright shade this is shade 14 here and then highlight with that as well you know what though this concealer <laughs> when i did a review on this i said about the packaging right i think it's wicked it's different right <laughs> Someone said in the comments that it reminds them of a reed diffuser and now I just see reed diffuser. You guys are jokes, honestly, the things you see. I'm actually going to let the under eyes sit for a minute, dry down a little, we'll get a little bit more coverage. So in the meantime, I'm going to take pink honey. Pink hands, what are you in? Toffee truffle. Tap that in and start warming this skin up a little bit. Because of the shades on the eyes, guys, I'm thinking more of like a sort of like more golden complexion. I know, not pink. I'm feeling all right. I do just have to remind myself that I do have other shades in my collection other than pink. Pink is still See how beautiful that concealer is. You know, what, I'm gonna take this Barry M Fresh Face Cheek and Lip Tint in the shade Peach Glow. Feeling like that might maybe be a really nice blush shade. That's so cute. It's still got that like hint of pink. It still looks blushy. It doesn't just kind of melt away into the bronzer. They blend so nicely as well. Look at that. Okay, Baza. Baza M. Oh my god, if you remember this powder, this is the equivalent to like the Laura Mercier era for me. The Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Do you know what? I have not had this for so, so long. I got it in PR the other day. I used to use this shit all the time. It just hit me in the feels, really. I remember this being such a beautiful setting powder. Oh yeah, that is just as beautiful as I remember. What the heck? <laughs> Look at that difference. That looks like a filter. This is just my Caddy Powder Puff as well, by the way, which applies the powder so beautifully too. Hourglass, oh boy, have I missed you. I know I said I want a more glowy base today, and I still do, but this is just what's going to make my powder... My powder? My makeup last is by using powder. <laughs> you know the drill, Fenty Powder Foundation in 250. Knock any excess powder off, but also kind of bring the skin back to life. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Where's Miss Fenty? This is my favorite bronzer right now. It's the Fenty Beauty bronzer in Private Islands. By the way, this is the nude brush. You know Mary Bedford's brand. It's like the double-ended one. I love this for bronzer and blush. In the apron, what are you all about cooking bacon? You know what? I'm going to go back in with that Barry M blush. Work into the brush. Because it's cream too, it should hopefully give the skin that sort of like gentle glow. And it's the perfect shade. Yeah, cute. I've just found this in my makeup. Fenty Beauty Fairy Bomb. It's like a shimmer powder. It's in the shade 24 karat. And I mean, look at that. Oh, oh my God. That is stunning. I wanted a golden -y highlighter and that really has given me a golden -y highlighter. But I kind of want to like bod it. Oh my God. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Look at that. I love how I'm literally using the smallest brush ever. Wait, I've got just the brush. Giant peaches and cream. What is this? PC48. Oh my god, give me more. I'm gonna pop a bit above the brows. I find when I put it here, it kind of gives the skin that overall sheen. Almost looks like I haven't set the skin, but I have. When I want more of like a dewy wet look, it's just like the perfect place. Okay, lips. I want a nice kind of dark chocolatey brown. This is Nude Ombre from Cash Beauty. I love these lip liners so much. Rust Nude is like a staple. This is almost like a deeper version of Rust Nude. Blend those edges in. Morphe First Base. I'm gonna take on a brush though, and then just tap it in just so it's a bit more diffused out. I can't decide if I want to do a gloss so yeah i do actually have some really nice like gold glosses then i do look at the matte and i like the matte don't you hate that this is a big decision <laughs> fuck it let's just do this gloss here from pretty little thing look how beautiful this is mm. you know what <laughs> i think that was the move lock this baby in place the beauty crop pore filter mattifying spray just like that we are 10 i say just like that but i've been filming for like two three hours <laughs> Thanks for spending time with me. 